Hi, my name is Sheila and I live on a homestead in the interior of British Columbia. Today I want to show you how I separate the cream from the milk from all of this that we got from our cow. I milk a cow twice a day and I get two to three gallons right now. The calf is about five weeks old. Is that right? Yeah, hang around there. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this milk is raw milk and it is sat for 48 hours. And when you let it sit that long, you ensure that most of the cream rises to the top and it makes it easier to separate and make sure that you kind of get more. Um, and guess what? As I like to do all of the things, this is a very fast way to do it with very minimal cleanup. Except if you do that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you just take a ladle, you can see the cream layer, and all I'm doing is keeping my ladle in within that layer to the best of my ability. Nothing is perfect. Look how the spoon is coated. That is butter fat. I also kind of like to make sure that I um, skim kind of like the sides with the side of my label because the thick, creamy, fat, cream, whatever you wanna call it, um, really sticks to the sides. Guys, if you wanna like make the best tea or coffee, you just almost like scrape this off. It is so good. So I am gonna do this for all of these jars. This is a food grade pail that I actually ordered online. Um, I order from Uline, I'm not an affiliate, I just order from them. Um, their prices are the best on the jars and the buckets. Anyway, so this is full. Um, so I'm excited to see that's my first time doing it in a food grade bucket, but it makes it a lot easier and I only have so many jars. So then we'll see how much cream I get from that. So now I'm kind of getting down and it gets a little bit trickier, but you can see in the top, the little swirls of milk start to appear. Now, if I leave a little bit of cream in the milk, that makes it about 4%. Like if you kind of do what you can, like I'm, I'm close to leaving it. So that would be about 4% non-homogenized milk even though some people are like oh it's like skim it kind of does resemble skim but with the milk on top it's about four percent so i'm gonna go through and do these all up um i am gonna be making creme fraiche cream cheese and butter today but those will be in another video this video was just cream separating so i'll link those below okay Farmer Boy by Laura Ingalls Wilder and in it <clears throat> the mom I was gonna say character but she's a person <laughs> that's a, those are real people uh, they keep their butter in a crock and I was thinking we have these massive crocks and we're not using them for anything and we were like well, i wonder what people used these giant crocs for and i was like well giant sauerkraut giant barrels of pickle giant barrels of salted pork and then you listen to farmer boy and you're like oh i wonder if they had like giant crocs of butter and giant crocs like you have to like this i'm letting my cream settle so maybe they just had like big crocks that they put the cream into guys there's so much cream oh i'm am i getting down to the milk so i'm putting it in a quart jar so i know how much i'm putting into my pot that's why so um i have a sense when i go to make the creme fraiche or the cream cheese how much of each I can do or whatever. 
plus a road of butter. So I'm not buying anything from the store. Not true. I'm not buying butter from the store so far. <laughs> I'm not buying butter from the store, but we don't want to buy. And the goal is to provide everything that we can for ourselves. So not to buy cheese, not to buy sour cream and cream cheese. Um, so anyway, that's kind of, this is attempt number one of, um, cream cheese. Butter's going good so far, but I definitely have to keep up on it. And getting two gallons a day isn't really that much when it comes to making butter because you use the cream. Like you're not using the skim milk. Um, so I need all the cream I can get. So how much do I get off of a gallon? Maybe a quart, maybe just under a quart of cream, which I think would make like a half a pound of butter, I think. So I'm starting to see some swirls. I didn't know how far the cream line would be on this because I mean, it's a purple pail. Um, so I'm starting to see some swirls. So I wasn't even paying attention to how much I got. It wasn't a full five gallons either. Okay. I think that's good. And then you forget. <laughs> How many did I do? I think four and a half gallons. Oh. So this is a giant pot of cream. I would say my heart is stopping just looking at it, but only because I'm so excited. To. This is the five gallon pail. Now it looks like cream, but if I go and I just grab, see how I'm, you can see that swirl. When there's no way of just getting the cream at this point. So you could use a cream separator, but then it's also nice to have a little bit of cream on top of your milk. So now I'm going to take this skim milk back down to my cellar because it's four degrees Celsius down there. Um, and then I'm going to get started on all of the things, baby snapping. So as long as that continues, I can make the stuff. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along with the journey as I try and make everything out of dairy and grow all the food in my garden, uh, to provide for our family, then make sure you subscribe and follow along. Okay, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.